KS Services is now offering preventative maintenance plans as low as $12 a month. Preventative maintenance is so important when it comes to your HVAC system. Let us come check your system out and perform our 22-point inspection. It's better to be safe than sorry. We have so many plans to choose from and special offers that go along with them. Call today for more information. 205-322-9090, Alabama license number 11120. Here's your weather video for this Sunday morning, January 13th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. And after uh, most everyone picked up around a half inch of rain yesterday, we enter a period of extended uh, dry weather uh, that will last until about Thursday. Uh, let's look at the radar this morning. Still a few showers showing up early this morning over eastern Alabama, a little light rain. Uh, it's uh, fairly inconsequential. We'll move into Georgia uh, pretty quickly. Should be out of here by um, 8 o'clock this morning. Temperatures across the area uh, in the 40s. Uh, 46 at Birmingham. Uh, 40s uh, generally the number, uh, except for the normally colder locations in northeast Alabama. As you would expect, Gadsden, Fort Payne, Albertville, those sort of areas. Watch morning map this morning showing uh, winter storm uh, watches or really winter storm warnings and winter weather advisories uh, in two swaths. The uh, area from uh, the St. Louis area, which is hard hit by the uh, snowstorm over the weekend, over uh, into Ohio and uh, a secondary swath uh, still kind of ongoing at this hour now uh, with ice and snow from uh, western North Carolina, the upstate uh, areas of South Carolina, uh, through Virginia into Maryland, the D.C. area. Uh, still expecting 6 to 12 inches of snow today uh, in the D.C. area, uh, which is uh, quite a storm. Uh, and interestingly enough, another storm next weekend is going to bring uh, possibly another foot of snow uh, to the St. Louis area. Uh, so they could have uh, as much as two feet of snow on the ground uh, by next weekend. Here's the uh, upper level weather pattern across the United States right now. Sort of looks like that last uh, little hill on the old screen machine at Six Flags uh, right there. A little, uh, a little bump of a ridge over Texas, Oklahoma, uh, giving way into a little uh, bit of a trough over the southeastern United States. That was enough to produce the uh, uh, wet weather that we experienced, a sort of muddled uh, surface low over the southeast uh, early this morning. Not even worth showing you. Uh, 700 millibar moisture kind of shows us uh, the story uh, of what we can expect cloudiness-wise. And you can see here at noon today, uh, still a pretty good chance of, uh, or still a pretty good uh, layer of clouds, uh, layers of clouds across Alabama and the southeast. It'll be hard to clear uh, for generally areas north of Demopolis, Selma, Montgomery, and Eufaula. Uh, we'll see mostly cloudy skies, with just a few peaks of sunshine, I think, during the day today. Uh, here is the uh, surface uh, depiction from the GFS at noon today, showing weak low pressure near Nashville. You can see the icing uh, there in southern Virginia, uh, back into western North Carolina with snow over northern Virginia into D.C. and the mid-Atlantic states up into Philadelphia. Here in Alabama, a few uh, lingering showers over eastern parts of the area as well as north Alabama, but uh, that uh, activity will move out pretty quickly this afternoon. Now, going day by day through time, here's Monday at noon showing uh, Alabama free of precipitation now. High pressure beginning to build to our west over Texas and Oklahoma. That uh, high will uh, spread to the east on Tuesday, uh, moving into the uh, Arklam Miss region of Mississippi, Arkansas, and Louisiana, showing Alabama still high and dry on Tuesday. We'll be in the uh, generally in the 40s to lower 50s today. Still some cold air advection going on southeastern parts of, uh, of our area, down around Eufaula and Auburn. Temperatures actually going to fall during the day today. Uh, we'll be generally in the 40s uh, tomorrow across the area, um, I would think, and then probably 40s again on Tuesday uh, before things start to warm up. Now, tomorrow, still fairly considerable cloudiness tomorrow across the area with some uh, clearing uh, breaking in here by Tuesday and giving us a little more sunshine. Now, uh, by Thursday, really Wednesday is still more of the same, maybe a little warmer, temperatures uh, rising into the 50s as we see more sunshine and um, we cut off the flow of uh, cold air over that snowpack to our northwest. But by Thursday, another disturbance moving through the Midwest brings uh, another chance of rain to Alabama during the day Thursday, increasing uh, Thursday afternoon, Thursday night. We can see those showers are still with us on Friday. And then they get a renewed push as uh, low pressure develops to our north along a strong disturbance. There's that storm system that will have affected the St. Louis area uh, moving into the Great Lakes region. And when it does, we'll see uh, more showers and rain into Alabama on Saturday. Now, this system, obviously, you can see the uh, tightly packed isobars there 
the thickness values uh, showing very strong cold air advection, and uh, that's going to be the case uh, full on here on Sunday. Um, I think um, we'll see uh, clearing skies and uh, much, much colder temperatures. Look at these high temperatures off the GFS for next Sunday afternoon. How about 32 at Birmingham? How about 29 at Muscle Shoals? So you can see next Sunday promising potentially to be a very cold day across Alabama. Now, going forward in time out in the voodoo country, two chances for precipitation. And snow fans, I just can't get too excited. There's a, We'll be right on that edge uh, potentially to get a little snow somewhere in Alabama. But this is Wednesday the 23rd, uh, showing sort of another arc front situation coming in uh, with another chance of rain for Alabama. And then for uh, Saturday night the 26th, uh, a disturbance in the Gulf of Mexico, perhaps an overrunning situation. We'll have to watch that one very carefully. But for Saturday night the 26th, Sunday the 27th, uh, the GFS painting a little snow in the northeast Alabama. And I think that's definitely... A possibility that we'll have to watch for. Now, using the European for our temperatures over the next several days, you can see uh, we're in the 40s uh, through Tuesday. We climb back into the 50s on Wednesday. A little warmer uh, as we get into that uh, wet weather pattern for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Expect about one and a half inches of rain generally across the area. Much colder behind the system. The European not quite as bullish on those cold temperatures for Sunday and Monday, um, but I think we could stay below freezing next Sunday and Monday if. Um, if uh, things hold true. And then we go back generally into this uh, relatively cold pattern. Highs in the 40s and lows in the upper 20s and 30s. That's your weather video for this Sunday, January 13th. I'll be back with a video next Sunday. James will be back with two a day starting tomorrow. And uh, don't forget, next Sunday night is the super blood red wonder duper moon that uh, we will have a lunar eclipse. And first looks at that, even though I didn't share a graphic, Looks like we might be able to see it under some clear skies, although it could be kind of cold next Saturday night. So, until I talk to you again, have a great week, and as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at.